guys, you're watching Fishing with Gary. Let me give you a few tips about drop shotting. If you're out there drop shotting and you're not hooking the fish, you get the bite and you're not hooking them, let me tell you a little secret on how you can hook those fish. Normally, I Texas rig my stuff because if there's a tree or something, I'll, uh, I'll drop that right down. If I Texas rig it, I use a little uh, number one Bass Pro Shop hook and I'm usually uh, using these little curly tail. These are 5150s. I'm telling you what a big secret. If you have not tried these 5150s, um, for you that are out of state, because this is going uh, United States wide, you can go to the website www.5150plastics.com and order those online. Otherwise, you can get them right here in Phoenix, Arizona. I carry them in my truck too for sale. But this is the best color I've found. I've got about four or five colors I use. Uh, you're missing out if you're not using that worm, I'm telling you. So let me tell you, if you have a small child or you have somebody that just does not set the hook, and I guide all the time and I get that from all over the United States, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the bobber stopper trick, all right? First thing I'm gonna do, and we're gonna rig the drop shot up that works. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this bobber stopper on. They got little rings like this, and they're very easy to, to use. You can see that there's a little, a little uh, hole right there. I just put the line through that, pull it, and looky, there's the bobber stopper right there, okay? So I'm gonna slide that up like that. Next thing I'm gonna do is get this circle hook. Now this is an octopus drop shot hook made by Bass Pro Shop. Now the key is putting that hook, and it's small, look at that, it's real small. We're gonna put that so it's gonna be facing upward on the line. By upward, I mean if I turn it upside down like this, it's gonna be facing up like this. Now remember, we are not tying any knots. No more knots, guys. Let me tell you some secrets behind that while I go. One bobber stopper on there, I buy these by the gross, by the hundreds of packs. These are cheaper bobber stoppers, so I have to use one on the top, two on the bottom. So it's real easy. A lot of guys just can't figure this out. You just put the line through that circle, pull it, and there it is. So there's one number one. That's going right on the bottom of the bobber stopper. I mean the uh, hook with the bobber stopper. I'm going to do number three. Put that inside the wire, pull it, it's on there. So now I got two right there, all right? I like to use my rig about 10 inches above uh, the weight. Now here's the trick with this. You have to take a little knife and you have to open it at a little clasp up because I'm going to show you what happens when you hook this fish with not a knot. So all I do is just open that up. I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to tie this on. As soon as I cut off this bad piece of monofilament. All right, I'm just going to do three overhand knots. That's all I'm going to do. There's no special knot to tie this drop shot hook on. One, two, three. All right. Now you can paint these if you want. I paint some of them. I paint some of them red. I paint some of them black. I'm trying to find out, do I get any more, do I not get the bass biting on that? They will bite that sometimes, thinking it's a minnow. So there's my setup right there. I'm going to take this off, this hook, and show you how I hook this. I'm just going to, uh, now the water's dirty here, guys, so I'm just going to hook this just like, just like this. Whoops. Got myself tangled up already. So I'm just going to hook this on the drop shot hook, just like this, all right? So it's going to look like this when we're done, just hanging there, all right? Now a lot of guys will take this hook and rig it kind of weedless like. So by doing that, they're just going to go in a little bit further down and just pull it up. So the tip's just right there. And they say it gets a little bit more action and you're hiding the tip of the worm inside the tip of the hook inside the worm like that. Here's what happens when that fish bites. That fish is going to bite this worm, you're going to feel a pressure, you're going to set the hook, and wham, bam, that's going to go right down to the sinker, and you're going to reel it in. And that's why we open that clasp up, and that's why we tied three overhand knots on there. Now, here's the good part about this drop shot. If you're a drop shotter, 
you know that this gets all tangled up all the time so bad you have to cut the whole thing off you have to redo it you have to tie another polymer knot and you get frustrated doing that you'll never have that again you uh, you take your fish off you grab the two bobber stoppers by the weight you go back up to your acquired depth Maybe you're one of those guys back east. Maybe you're one from Missouri or you remember guys from there where they fish in 50 feet deep from them spotted bass. You know, I was just up there last year. You could set that two feet. Or maybe at nighttime, you fish night tournaments. If, if you're not setting your thing down real low like this at night, you're missing a lot of the, a lot of the action because at night those fish come in and they eat crawdads. You want to have just a, a five or six inch leader on that. You'll catch more fish that way. Again, I'm using that 5150 plastic bobber stopper drop shot. Hey, I hope you catch more fish with this method, and thanks for watching these videos. You've been watching Fishing with Gary.